Hey fellow Horror Night fans and Universal fans like I'm the Crazy Englishman and welcome back to another episode of Halloween Horror World where today we're going to be discussing just an update for what happened with this whole Hollywood incident controversy revolving around these three 13 year old girls. Um, it has just been announced and that the auctioneer section of the Purge Anarchy Scare Zone has been taken out. So it's completely blank now. So in between the two towers with the uh, flame spouts, there's nothing there. Um, I feel... I, I feel this was not the best move uh, Hollywood could have done. Um, I agree with Aaron. Um, as many of you know, uh, Red Steel TV of uh, Horror Night Updaters, he posted this on his, uh, the Horror Night Updated's Facebook page, and I completely agree, so I'm going to read it to you guys. Um, his first post was, The Purge Auctioneer and Stage have been removed from Purge Anarchy Scare Zone at Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. Hopefully one day, Universal Studios Hollywood will grow some backbone, but today is not one of those days. I completely agree. That's the first one. I'll read the second one after a while. Um, Horror Nights needs to take a stand. There wasn't even a defense for the taking out of this. Was it necessary? No. They could have just dealt with the scare, scare actor, I, I done whatever they needed to do, and maybe put someone new in there, a different actor maybe, who kept with the script. This wasn't necessary. You've taken out... This is what I've been saying about policy changes for... Horror Nights. Now, this isn't a major policy change, but they've taken out a part of the attraction. Uh, it's just blank now. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing really to fill that void. It's just blank. So you've just got a group of actors walking around um, with masks and machetes and chainsaws. So it, it kind of takes it out, and it's it's kind of ridiculous that. Um, they couldn't just apologize, say we're dealing with the scare actor, we do apologize for this incident. Uh, they have come out and said, Universal has come out with a statement saying that um, this is not how uh, they want to interact with their audience, uh, such and such. So, but they haven't fully come out and apologized. They could have just apologized and said, we're going to deal with the scare actor, that's it. Now, the second thing Aaron posted, um, which, again, I completely agree with, this is probably the last time I mention this, but I think I should get this off my chest. The auctioneer show has started with good intentions in mind. Could it have been handled better? Yes, of course. But it shouldn't have been the scare actor's job in the first place to worry about having a street entertainment for the guests, and I applaud them for trying to solve a problem that shouldn't be happening at a multi-million dollar event anyway. The worst part is management didn't even try to defend them, and that's what bugs me the most. The scare actors at this event are some of the best in the industry, and they are. They really are. Um, and they deserve better. They really do. HHN Hollywood has some glaring issues, and instead of acknowledging them, uh, they would rather brush it under the table and share photos of many celebrities that praise the event rant over. I, I agree with them. I, I, honest, I honestly do. Um, this could have been a situation that could have been completely avoided. Uh, we still could have had the auctioneer section, but it's completely gone now. Um, Universal tends to cave under under pressure, and that's what's happened. They've just taken it completely out. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more to this um, than maybe we're seeing, but it's it, it kind of it kind of nerfs that whole area now that this this big gaping hole and there's nothing there anymore um i feel that and i agree with again i agree with aaron that universal should have at least come to the defense of of the auctioneer and and that um now what i'm not saying what she did was probably the right direction but she should have been reprimanded for that Maybe told, look, this isn't what's going to happen. Maybe come out and apologize herself. And then this probably would never have happened. Um, but I am disappointed that Hollywood didn't try to uh, at least defend 
the event in some way. Uh, whenever something bad happens, they take it away, and I I agree with Aaron. They tend to brush it under the rug if something doesn't go. We've seen it with Bill and Ted, Chucky, gone, completely gone. So I just wanted to make this quick update video to let you guys know what the outcome was. I'm sure there'll probably be more to this um, later down the line. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. And I just wanted to say that uh, in my last video I said hypothetically this could really damage the event and maybe result in it being taken out. What I meant was if we get more of these little incidences eventually the brass is going to say it's, is it worth getting all these complaints and stuff like that we'll just take out the event completely which would be devastating. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to make this quick update. Um, there will be new reviews coming on Saturday, uh, as well as uh, merchandise merchandise reviews. Um, my package with all my shirts. Uh, I'm wearing one now, the Alien vs. Predator one. These are all from uh, Halloween Horror Nights 24, uh, 24, the Orlando event. So I'll be reviewing all the shirts and that, show you guys what they look like, um, some of the cool little features on some of them, as well as, uh, as a pin. So, I hope you guys look forward to that. I hope you guys look forward to the reviews of the mazes. And until the next time, this is the Crazy Englishman signing off.